United Methodist, we need to find a new way to do church. We can no longer sustain our current style of rural and small town church ministry. We have done the programs, connected as parishes, merged congregations, and these models have had limited success in New Jersey. What if? What if we took the passionate practices of the circuit riders and brought them into the 21st century? What if we re-looked at the way that we do church in rural New Jersey? What if we could produce new communities that are alive and mission-centered and places where the unchurched can be curious and the believer can be challenged? Methodists need to focus on bringing new life and hope into rural neighborhoods through their witness to the gospel. So what is needed to change the climate in rural New Jersey? The key components are sending out evangelists to build relationships with the churched and unchurched, to proclaim the gospel, and to serve the needs of the community. We need an evangelistic leader who can boldly share the gospel. We need to find believers who are committed to the gospel with the gifts of service, witness, compassion, hospitality, and generosity. We need to begin exploring the needs of the communities. We need prayer. We need to walk the streets of the, our communities and pray for the people and the businesses there. We need to gather interested Christians and begin to study. We require an investment in the vision and generosity truly matters. What if on Sunday morning you could be greeted with a smile and a cup of coffee at your favorite little coffee bar as you drop off your children to their own special spot? What if your children could gather with friends in a creative and compassionate environment to learn how to follow the path of Jesus for the world today? What if this was just the start? that churches all over New Jersey would cast a vision for their communities and beyond. John Wesley strongly believed the gospel offered transformation to all. The circuit riders he inspired fulfilled his vision to spread scriptural holiness throughout the land. Today, Methodists need the same transformational spirit to carry the gospel message of love and hope and a new life to the residents throughout the villages and neighborhoods and rural countryside of New Jersey. The vision is to continue this tradition in the 21st century. The circuit church planner will have the evangelistic heart to carry the message to the people. The lay church planters will offer a relational nature required to engage new believers and the missionally focused strategic church partner will bring the support to grow this new faith community. If the Holy Spirit can stir up the clergy and the laity of Greater New Jersey Annual Conference to use their gifts and move out of their comfortable churches into the countryside, then revival will occur. So I ask you, what if?